So ordinals can be thought of as a generalization of the natural numbers, perhaps of infinite size. Let's see some examples of multiplication of ordinals. So let's recall that if you have an ordinal alpha, its successor is alpha union the set containing alpha, and we generally denote that as alpha plus one. And now we can define multiplication of ordinals via transfinite recursion with alpha times zero is zero, alpha times the successor of beta is alpha beta plus beta, and then alpha times beta is equal to the union over all lambda less than beta of alpha times lambda, that is if beta is a limit ordinal. So now let's take omega, which is the ordinal corresponding to all natural numbers, and observe that if we do this stuff up here with omega times two, we end up with omega plus omega, which is this set containing omega copies of the natural numbers all after one another. But if you do two times omega via the definition again, you'll see that you get omega, meaning that we do not have commutativity of multiplication.